videos um, i will request there are 80 percent of viewers they are not yet subscribed my channel please do subscribe and share my channel thank you for watching my videos so today in this video we'll be looking into the nci plots the non covalent interaction uh, in periodic system how to do the calculation for extended system and the cold solids using multi reference software so let's get started so first step is uh, we have to sign up and sheet or whatever you like so this is my interest of material this i will be working here okay so try to keep your material within a inner cell so that you will be having no problem and doing calculation in material reference software so this is my system where i will be doing so this uh, geometry i have already optimized if you don't know how to optimize the material in the stu material studio uh, then go back and see my uh, videos in the geometry optimization i'll put the link in the description and also watch my previous videos on the nci uh, so that you will be familiar with multi way function software then come here and watch this video for the external system okay now this is the optimized geometry that i have already optimized now i'll be exporting this file either in you can export in the zip format or the pdb format so i'll be exporting in the zip format or you can take the protein data bank format also no problem okay so i have exported this file now you are having this file and uh, you can see this file using gauss view software also that will be looking exactly same okay you can use gauss view like gauss in software also for this this kind of calculation okay but it will be very slow that's why we are not using it okay now come to the point now you have the structure now open the uh, so called multi way function software that folder and open it now drag the file that input file that you will be calculating drag it and put it over there in the multi way function okay now here we are interested in the non covalent interaction calculations so just click on uh, 20 serial number 20 that belongs to the nc calculation and here you have two options first option the serial number one just the nc analysis and second option is the nc analysis using a pro molecular density approximation method since we are dealing with the uh, you know these periodic system so we have to choose the serial number two now you are having several options first we need to set our unit cell so just click on serial number 10 now you can see your unit cell over here okay now make such a way so that you, you can see uh, your unit cell nicely see <clears throat> our unit cell is kept inside that you know the rectangular box over here in the blue color means it is nicely oriented so our lattice is in the x g uh, x y plane so the z plane is correctly placed the y plane everything is correctly placed the grid spacing just put in the minimum uh, will be taking 0.17 and the x uh, x will increase x is perfect y will check y is see this x and y means you have to keep such a way so that this rectangular system this blue color rectangular is uh, keeping your entire uh, mold that system that supercell your entire supercell is within uh, this cube this rectangle okay and so once that is fixed and every other thing if you just check okay i will make it a little smaller okay if, even if you make down you can see it is within that right so it is perfect now return now you can see sub processes in happening it will take quite a second okay so it's done now now what you can do is uh, you first save that scatter graph by pressing one over here press, press one and press enter now that scatter graph is plotted press two to save the output scattering file and then press 3 to generate the Q files. Q files will be giving you that uh, NCA plots. That is 3. Okay. So that Q file is also generated now. Now you can close this window. Now just go to the multi wave function folder. There you can see that output file and the Q files. And when the scattering uh, picture, but it will be in black and white as 
I have already told you. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to copy this two files and paste it in the VMD module. If you don't know like how we are doing this, just show my first part of this NCI video and you'll be able to understand and do all these things nicely. Okay, just paste it here. Okay. Okay. Uh, one more thing you need to do here. See, uh, since we are work working with the multi wave function, so we, we will be doing this scattering plot here, RDG scattering, right? RDG plot. So you need to go to this uh, examples and go down, and here you will be seeing RDG fuel dot pro dot vmd so this pro is pro molecular uh, based uh, functional based uh, file you need to copy this file and you need to paste it in the vmd folder here i have already copied and pasted it here you can see here right so i don't need to do that just click double click on this vmd dot exe when exe file will be opened over here okay so now that VMD software file is open now. Now what you need to do is you need to type RDG scatter uh, sorry S O U R C space RDG and since we are doing the pro dot vmd press enter once you have done this you can see in the display board you can see your material of interest with the NCI plots ok now you can do whatever way you like to put your picture right so you can nicely see these this red color is showing that static hindrance. So here you are having that static problem. Okay, now I need to save this picture. Go to the file menu, render, and now you save your file wherever you want. I'm going to save it here. It's nine and save it. Now click on the start rendering, it will render and it will give you one picture. Now go to the same folder where you have saved that file, uh, it will be saved here. You need to open it in some tool. Either in Photoshop or I will be using Paint. It will be easily and now save as BMP or whatever way you like it. Okay. So now we will be saving in mine. Okay, so it is done. Now you can see it is already saved here, right? This format. Okay, so we have this RDG plots. Now we need to have RDG scattering file. For that, you need to copy this uh, this output file over here and paste it in the bin folder of your multi uh, this GNU plot. Paste it here. Once you have pasted that file, see that file is here. Now open your CMD and go to that uh, specific bin folder, and here you type. Uh, GNU plot space RDG scattered or GNU and press enter. Once you have done this, after a few seconds, you can see one uh, RDG scattered or PS file is appeared over here. Now double click here. This file you can open with the Fundu software. Uh, just install the Fundu if you don't have. Okay. And now you can see this picture so you can see this uh, plot over here I'll go to this uh, and keep in this way 
okay if you want to save this picture just uh, save as wait, okay save as um, go to that file uh, save here so this is the okay so these peaks are for the steric repulsion and these are for the vulnerable weak vulnerable repulsions it can be you know since it is in the negative side this blue color is for the hydrogen bonding and this green color is blue color is for the hydrogen interaction the electrostatic interaction and this red color is the repulsion the strong repulsion that is the steric hindrance and this green color is the weak repulsion or kind of you know neutral side or there will be slight uh, vulnerable interactions so this green color peak is there so uh, and that is in the negative region uh, if it is in the positive region means it is repulsive or if it is in the negative uh, negative region means it is attractive vulnerable interaction and the peak uh, this red color peak here is suggesting the a strong uh, the steric problem in the, in the system okay so in this way you can analyze the uh, NCI calc and non covalent interaction in your extended system similarly you can take uh, dna similarly you can take any other materials or molecules of your choice and you can perform this calculus if you have any doubt pertaining to this NCI calculation put in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe my videos and please do share my videos if you like it thank you for watching the video